Welcome to Retro Crisis and in today's video I'm going to show you where you need to put BIOS files in order to run games that require them within RetroArch. So as you can see on the left I've got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 sitting in RetroArch. When I click on it and try to run it you'll notice an error message appear and it says firmware is missing scph5501.bin so this is in reference to the PlayStation BIOS firmware so RetroArch is looking for it and it can't find it so what you need to do is obtain a BIOS file for your PlayStation from somewhere or you can dump it from your console now as you can see here below there's a BIOS file that's been dumped from a PlayStation system so what you want to do is go to your RetroArch directory so mine is installed on my C drive so you just want to double click that Scroll all the way down to system and then what you want to do is just drag that BIOS file into system. So once we've done that, you want to go back to RetroArch, close content and try running it again and this time it should run the game fine. This has been Retro Crisis. I hope this video was useful. If it was, please do consider subscribing. Thank you for watching.